Welcome to the Joyous Kingdom. Today's episode of 4 Minutes of Fun to talk about my biggest surprise in NFTs so far. The wildest shit that's ever happened to me on my NFT journey, or at least what I could think of right now. If you're excited to get into it, smash the like in this video, subscribe to the channel, join the kingdom. If you're not following me on Twitter, if you're not in my Discord down below in the description, then I can't help you, fam. I don't know what to tell you. Get your five free socks using my Weeble link down below in the description. It's a free crypto and socks trading platform. You get free money. Helps me out directly. I appreciate you guys always doing that. The goal of this channel is to instill the knowledge and confidence it's going to take to navigate this metaverse on your own one day. So if that sounds good to you, let's get into the video. As always, if you want to get in contact with me for a company or brand, email me at georgeofficial at gmail.com. Timer starting now. My biggest surprise in NFTs happened to me a few weeks ago in the middle of this bear market. Looking around my uh, my wallet, was trying to find um, something to do with Polygon. I think I, was, I think I was trying to like convert some money, and uh, I thought, you know, I think there's some Polygon stuff in my ledger. Hadn't been in my ledger in a little minute because like I don't need it really. Usually for the most part, I don't really touch my ledger. Open my ledger app, went to uh, check out my ETH, and uh, clicked the little drop down menu. You want to know how much wrapped ETH was sitting in my ledger for two months? Two ETH. Two ETH. Like seven thousand dollars sitting there in my fucking ledger in wrapped ETH. Cause I was making offers a few months ago and I forgot about it. Yo, you know what <laughs> that's a lot of money. Seven grand just sitting there. I was like, yo, are you fucking kidding me? I could have used that. But at least it came to me in a bear market. I was able to use some of that and buy into a really, really special NFT project that is when it got one of the strongest ecosystems in the entire NFT brand. I'm not going to tell you exactly which one, um, but you probably know if you watch my videos, which projects and brands and ecosystems I am bullish on. I was able to buy into that and uh, use the remainder of that to buy into a couple of swing trading opportunities and really take advantage and really and really grow that portfolio that I've built so far. But man, imagine finding two wrapped ETH. $3,500 times two sitting in a wallet. That's like literally finding $20 on the ground, but it's $7,000 fucking dollars. It was insane. It was insane. It was insane. I couldn't even believe it. I thought my, I thought my thing was glitching. Like who does that? Why is there, why was there, I'm not that type of rich. Why is there two ETH sitting there that I forgot about? That's like disrespectful to the gods of money or something. You know, tell me in the comments, if you found two wrapped ETH in your wallet, what would you be? What would be your first decision, right? If, right at this current moment today, if you found two ETH sitting in your wallet, would you take it out and cash it out for some fiat currency? Would you go buy a car? Would you uh, Would you buy some Degen shit? Would you buy into a uh, blue chip project you've been wanting to get in? Tell me in the comments what you what you would have done if you found two ETH. It was shocking. It was literally so shocking. Anyways, another uh, another thing that surprised me that I just thought of um, just now is how how long this bear market has kind of lasted. We're at a point now where I really don't know where we're at. We're in this little sandbox like teetering stage right now and i think it's because while crypto is kind of stumbling and also teetering it's we're at such a point where crypto could literally fly to the moon tomorrow or crash tomorrow and i think because of that uncertainty nfts aren't really sure people aren't sure to throw their money into nfts because if crypto runs nfts are going to go right back down so people don't know what to do because typically crypto is either about to go into a lull or it's about to moon or it's about to go down but either way we're typically like kind of sure we really have no idea. And so that's why people are hesitant to throw their money in NFTs. That's why we're not seeing a massive bull run or a massive crash right now. We're kind of teetering. Like there's a lot of projects, a lot of volume, a lot of projects are going up, a lot of projects are going down. And it's like half and half, like some projects are doing well, some aren't. And we don't know where the fuck we're at. So this is a really exciting time to be alive in the NFT market. If you're over leveraged, if you're having a tough time right now, that means you probably didn't play your cards right at the end of that last bull market. And when we have another run up, take your time, take your profits, exit projects, before they hit their peak, because you're not going to call that peak. The chances are you're going to call it on the way down, or you're going to hold all the way down. You're going to be holding your bags, and then they're going to be worth, you know, a tenth of what you paid for them because you should have sold out early. I, I uh, whenever I sell an NFT project, I, I sell it and I accept the fact that it could go up another 50%. But I also remember that it could go down 50%, and I have lost my chance to lock in those profits. That's the way you have to think about taking profits. When you take it out, say you bought it at 0.2 and it's at 0.5. Okay, I get my 0.5 right now. I'm locking in half an Ethereum because if it drops to 0.3, I'm going to be pissed I didn't sell at 0.5. And if you'd rather have that 0.5 and you can take the risk of it going to 1 ETH, you can take that. The chance of it going to 1 versus the chance of it dropping to 0.2 where you bought in. 
do you want that or we want to lock in that 0.5 and take the chance that's safe to think about that's how i've thought about it. it helps me out for my mental health especially and so anyways i hope you enjoyed this video four minutes of fun i'm sure that uh the episode ended right at four minutes as it always does if you did if you did enjoy this video if you uh, if you learned something subscribe to the channel join the kingdom Click that like button, smash the like button for me. Follow me on Twitter. Join the Discord down below in the description. Get your five free stocks. Use my Weeble link. Get free money. Helps me out directly. A crypto and stocks trading platform. It's going to change your fucking life. If you want to see more of me right now, click one of these boxes and inside me. Until next time, continue on your joy. Continue to learn. And be grateful you're alive watching this video.